Hey, what is up guys? Gonna be taking a look at two new really insanely good cards coming out in the Dragons of Legend set. Uh, they're gonna be Fire and Ice Hand. They work very well together. So first off, let's go ahead and go over Fire Hand. Fire Hand says when this card in your possession is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by battle or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard, you can target one monster they control, destroy that target, then you get to special summon one Ice Hand from your deck. Now Ice Hand works well with Fire's Hand uh, because basically they're, they got like the same uh, effect where uh, when it, in your possession it's destroyed uh, and sent to the graveyard you get to target one spell or trap they control and you get to destroy it then you special summon a fire hand so one destroys spell and trap one destroys monster so what's really insane with this is there's no limit on how many you can use per turn uh the only real downside is is if you draw multiples of them kind of like uh, back in the day with tengu but i mean if you happen to not draw any of them and let's say your opponent has a monster with 1800 attack you can go ahead and crash all of your ice and fire hands and you could potentially use one card and pop six cards you know let's say they have a huge field let's say they otk'd you and they failed uh, if they leave a monster that doesn't have too much attack so you don't take a whole bunch of damage when you uh you know crash your monsters you can deplete their entire board so that's a really insane effect um and really what makes them even crazier is they have the wording and win this card in your possession. Just like the Modolches, Solemn Warning will not actually stop their effect of them returning. So uh, in the Fire and Ice Hands point of view, uh, if you warning them, they're still going to get the effect. And that's what really makes it crazy. They actually even mentioned this in their little article over here. They talk about the white uh, the white and uh, what is it? Ebony and Ivory Dragons. But for the most part, I don't think you're going to be wanting to XYZ with them. But, you know, if you really need to, hey, that is an option. These cards are definitely good uh, but you know obviously the downside would be drawing them uh, to actually counter them I mean like would you really want to deprison that small of a monster but sometimes you know I could understand maybe that's why they put deprison too they're like no no fire and ice need to be so good that deprison can't even stop them I mean pretty much in the main deck that uh, people actually use like a card that can actually stop them is compulse and I think that that is you know pretty self-explanatory or I mean if you macro or just remove the graveyard uh, you know aspect of the game like you play d fish or something like that yeah obviously that'll get rid of them too i was thinking maybe karma cut just to get rid of the card and not have to deal with it um if you are technically playing a deck i have two uh you know cards that you can actually try yourself uh i mean obviously they might be able to work with dragons um because uh, you know water and fire it works very well because i would still say tidal and um blaster are pretty much the stronger uh ones of the uh the dragon rulers but uh Frost and Flame Dragon, not a bad card at all. Too bad it is level 6, though. I mean, maybe if you're playing the Heretic Rulers, you can try to this in uh, yourself. But anyways, um, it must be special summoned by banishing one fire and two water monsters from your graveyard, and it can't be special summoned by other ways. Once per turn, you can discard one card to target one monster on the field, and you get to destroy it. So, not too bad of an effect. Um, you know, obviously, if it was level 7, then I can definitely see it having a lot more use. But you do technically have to banish three monsters for it, but, uh, you know... Um, it's just nonetheless, it's just another dragon that you can maybe test out or maybe you have a completely different build that you can uh, incorporate Frost and Flame Dragon in. Next thing is, uh, you can recycle your entire engine, the Transmigration Prophecy. Uh, almost reminds me of like when Duality, uh, not Duality, uh, Pot of Avarice was legal and Tengu was legal. You could just put back all the Tengus and you just leave that one Tengu on board that already cycled all the Tengus and then you just repeat the process. So it's a pretty nasty thing to run into. But I figured there are a lot of things that can counter this, obviously. I think one of the best cards to counter this would be something like Prohibition. I mean, at that point, they've lost a bunch of uh, cards potentially in their hand and also they've lost the ability to actually use that card because whatever is on board, as long as it's not Ice Hand, because obviously if Ice Hand is on board, uh, it says you can uh, target one spell or trap card they control destroy that then you can special summon one so uh yeah i probably wouldn't recommend if uh you know ice hand is out on board but if fire hand is out on board and uh, you have prohibition up i mean you just call ice hand and there there goes their engine so i think that this might be a really good side deck card it already is to me a fantastic side deck card there's been multiple people that have been winning uh huge tournaments that side deck prohibition I think this is one of the best side deck cards because it can be side decked against any deck and it'll actually have, a, you know, a great use. But, uh, you know, you could also go the route of stopping special summons uh, completely, but the problem is uh, Vandy's Ampiness won't really be an option because obviously they'll just pop a card and, well, too bad for Vandy's, right? But, uh, you know, agents are going to be making a comeback. I'll be doing a video on the in the future about the new Dark Agents once they actually release all of their effects and stuff. But uh, 
Arthur Christie is looking super, super good next format. Uh, once we get the pendulum summons, once we get all these crazy special summons, Christie's just like, nah, nah, not putting up with any of that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of these cards, because uh, for me, I think these are definitely splashable in a lot of different decks. I almost want to play double summon and everything just to get out like, I get my like normal summon and then I get one of these and like one of these can deplete your opponent's entire board like I mentioned. It's not a once per turn, which they need to change that because that's that that's that's a little getting a little crazy there, like Konami, like Konami, you're making these cards getting more and more powerful. We need more life points. We need better negation to stop to see some of these powerful monsters. But for the most part, I feel like Compulse is kind of the only answer. But if you guys know anything to stop Fire and Ice Hand, hey, let me know. As well as, you know, what decks can really utilize these. Maybe these are the new Splashable. These are the new uh, Reborn Tengus. I can't believe Tengu is uh, at two, but these, these are at three each. Like, this is crazy. But anyways, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes, signing out.